We think that just because we put the, the word demon possessed or the name demon, we put them, uh, we put the tag demon possessed or say, something like that to, the, to them. So we are justified. Pastors are thinking that they are justified because it's Satan that is oppressing the people. It's de they are demon possessed. So they are justified to be oppressed. They are justified to be mistreated anyhow. That they are just, we are justified for these people to be mistreated anyhow. But it is not justifiable. It cannot be justified. The, this is an evil treatment. This is a wrong treatment of children of God. No matter what is happening to these, to these people, they are God's image and likeness. You should not teach God's image and likeness in this form. The, we are victimizing them further in the name of deliverance. We are, you know, making an open show of people in the name of deliverance. We are disgracing people in the name of deliverance. The, when the Bible talks about making an open show, that Jesus made an open show of the enemy, he didn't say he made an open show of human beings. He made an open show of principalities and powers. That is what he made an open show of. Open show of demonic forces, satanic forces in high places. Not of human beings. Human beings are protected. Human, any human being, either unbeliever and unbeliever, they are protected. Now, you guys don't even understand how, uh, you know, I'm feeling so, you know. And the painful part of it is that this is not just happening in one particular church. This is happening all over churches in Africa. And this is even the in thing. Can you come again, please? You know, the Bible spoke about Philip going to preach in Samaria. When he got to Samaria, all of the people that, 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 that were there were unbelievers, demon-possessed, right? Demon-possessed, unbelievers. And there was great revival in the city. And the people who were demon-possessed got delivered. But nobody was falling on the ground. In the whole city, people who were, who were demon possessed were being delivered. People who were healed, being, I mean, people who were sick were being healed. And nobody was rolling on the ground like this. They were rather consciously submitting their particles, their, their, uh, their objects of worship. They were submitting their, mm -hmm. uh, their mediums, their amulets, and their, what do you call it? A talisman, they were submitting them consciously. The same thing happened in Ephesus. When they went to Ephesus, the same thing happened in Athens. When Paul went to Athens, when Paul went to Ephesus, it was not recorded that people were only on the ground. and they were, No, they were submitting their magic objects, books, and other objects in their own mind. They were repenting. They were accepting the Lord Jesus Christ in, their, in consciousness. The same thing, you study all the cases when Jesus Christ was casting out demons in the, in the, in the books of the Acts of, of, uh, of, of in the Gospels. He was casting them, he was talking to them, leave, he said, you are, you know, how can you, you know, let this daughter of Abraham suffer like this? Is it not right to deliver this daughter of Abraham? Look at the highest place of of esteem. <laughs> Jesus was putting this lady who was sick, who was demon possessed. This daughter of Abraham that is being tortured like this, shouldn't she be delivered? This daughter of Abraham that is being oppressed like this, even if it is Saturday or something, surely she be liberated. How could you tolerate this that a daughter of Abraham, a daughter of God, a child of God will be oppressed like this? But what are pastors doing in churches? We are adding to the oppression. We are having our soldiers, our, you know, ushers and, you know, our ushers, our you know, military men in the church. So, up, you know, we talk about military brutality in my country. We talk about police brutality. Sometimes I think the, the church brutality, it might even be worse than police brutality. 
And I, I think that sometimes the church, the usher's brutality, the pastor's brutality, in the name of deliverance, we are witnessing brutality in the house of God. We are witnessing people who have already, even if they are demon-possessed for real, they are supposed to be loved, pity. They are supposed to be made to experience God's love. And remember this forever. Demon possession, I mean, deliverance or casting out of demons must all be about letting somebody feel the love of God, the touch of God's love. The reason why you need deliverance is to make you experience the peace of God. What peace are these people experiencing when you are making them to flog on the floor? I mean, to, to, to roll on the floor. What peace are they experiencing when you are making them to be dishumanized and to talk, talk, talk? What's your name? You know, even if they don't have Satan in them, they might not have anything, but you are convincing them that they have Satan, so they should talk. Why should, what, what, you know, what, what kind of brutality is that? What peace would they feel? What joy would they feel? What kingdom of God would they feel? The, ki the Bible says that kingdom of God is in righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Ghost. But what I'm seeing is an abuse, embarrassment, brutality in the name of deliverance. Making no more human beings that are supposed to carry the image of God to become frantic. And what we call exorcism, these exorcisms, we, you know, it's not even exorcism, it's just a show. And then they are bringing camera. That is somebody's mother. That is somebody's daughter. That's somebody's wife. Putting them down the floor, a woman. A woman is supposed to have dignity. A woman is supposed to be respected. A woman that is having children. That is married. That is in a husband's home. Somebody's mother. And the children are supposed to be looking at their mother, their mother like that. Excuse me. And then they will now go and begin to put them on television. And then later on somebody will be complaining that I am the one at fault that I'm showing this. But I didn't shoot them. They shot these things and put them on the internet. I'm just showing what they already showed. Bringing disgrace and shame to a whole lineage, to a whole family. Disgrace and humiliation in the name of deliverance. Hello everybody, DSA here. I would like us to spread this word together. Let the gospel of the kingdom conquer the world. We only need you to help us take five simple steps. What are these steps? One. Go ahead and like the video, please, if you have not yet done that. Number two, we need you to subscribe to this channel. Have you yet subscribed? Not yet done it? Go do it now. Number three, you need to press and click on that bell. You see the bell there? That will give you notification of every video that we do. Then the next thing you need to do, write your comments. Let's know what you think, good or bad. And then, of course, you have other platforms like Instagram, like Facebook. Share this video on your other platforms. All right? Let's win the one for Christ. Peace.